So when you first heard about Burning Man and then you actually go with your whole group of 25 collaborators, how did you come away from it? I realize it's different because you were 50% filming and then 50% participating yeah. in it. How did, you, how did you come away from it personally? Well, um, I think my experience was probably different than a lot of other people's uh, experience. During, during production, um, it's easy to summarize production as chaos. Um, imagine a film set, but you're getting destroyed by windstorms. Um, Emotions of other people. Yeah, yeah. it's mm -hmm. like it's a 24-hour you know, project. So at 2 in the morning, you're, you're out dancing. Or at, at six in the morning, you're filming a sunrise. So I remember like getting like probably a half hour, an hour nap, and then we're out there with the red camera to shoot the sunrise all the way past Temple. It's huge. I mean, we're talking miles and miles and miles of desert. And so it's it's not like okay, I'm gonna walk to the set. You know, it, it's like I'm gonna figure out how to ride the bike. I'm gonna you know get a, an art car. There's amazing art cars out there where you can like hitch a ride, and and people will kind of travel at five miles per hour on these art cars that will go around the playa but um, you know I came away with it with this project that was in a very uncertain circumstance at the end we knew that we had captured a lot of footage we knew that a lot of people had had a really messed up time we knew that some people captured the most amazing experiences on camera did we have enough you know what how do you now you have to start going through the footage and, and we ended up with something like 400 hours of footage on the different cameras that we had out there so it was it was you know my experience was on these hard drives uh you know from all these different different cameras and so put, putting that together became the task so you're leaving there where a lot of people might have closure about certain experiences in their lives or <coughs> part of themselves but you now have this promise that you have in a backpack yeah, exactly. And, and so that did that weigh on you a little bit? I mean, it would probably keep me up at night. I would be stressed yeah, out. Yeah, it, it's one thing to be on set for a week mm -hmm. and then have 51 weeks of life or whatever else you're doing. Uh, for me, it just, it just hasn't stopped. It, it's been five years of, of getting this film finished. And, and for me, because I ended up basically being the editor, um, on the project, um, I got to relive the experience every day, all day long, for for months and months and months and months. You know, a week experience. Except I got to experience that week. I don't know, thirty weeks, fifty weeks of of it over and over again. I've I've watched the film probably close to fifty times. So you got everybody's SD card or whatever with you, or they sent them to you later. Yeah, um, out on the playa, we actually had um, a couple laptops and a couple different hard drives uh, that were part of the team, and um, some hard drives for all the red footage. So we'd, we'd come in with these, these hard drives from the red cameras every day. It was like actually two times a day. We'd come in and we'd drop off 150 new gigabytes of red footage um, and then clear the hard drives off. We'd have two sets, so they'd be in two different places. Um, yeah, go back at it. So we had a lot of SD cards and we didn't have enough because an SD card back then was an hour of footage, you know, and we, we shot with these 16 gigabyte SD cards. The newest, the biggest SD cards, the most expensive SD cards, 16 gigabytes were, were what we had back then. Um, and some of the film was shot at 720p uh, on the small cameras. And yeah, we would transfer, transfer footage and, and it was tough, I think. Um, we ended up losing, I think, three SD cards that had the most profound footage, the most remarkable footage on it, the most incredible personal experiences uh, gone, just lost. And that's the problem when you're working with media now. It's so small. These little SD cards, I remember it's like, you know, you can lose an SD card, but so it's tough. You got to work with what you have. And so we ended up with all these hard drives, I think six or eight terabytes of our raw material, I think that might have been a, a copy. So yeah, you get to work with it. Wow. Do you remember the day that you sat down and began like day one of editing? It was tough. I think, um, you know, editing for the project was a difficult process because the idea is that it was participatory 
And so the, the mojo and the idea was like, oh man, you know, we're all collaborating and we're all gonna kind of put this film together. So like, okay, um, you know, originally we had, we had paid someone to do some editing um, and that, that ended up uh, being really, um, didn't quite work out. So we ended up uh, doing, trying to do some editing ourselves and kind of, some people did amazing edits uh, with their footage, but then it was sort of like, okay, but if we, we need more, you know, how do you put together something if only a couple people have their puzzle pieces on the table? So it wasn't quite ready to like put the puzzle pieces together because we didn't quite have enough. So then it was sort of like, well, we're trying to put together the puzzle and we need the pieces, so we got to finish the pieces first. And it was kind of interesting because each person had a different experience out there. Um, and so, yeah, editing kind of just didn't go so well. Um, I actually went out to the East Coast for a bit and I worked with some of the people involved in the project for several weeks, putting together the edits and working with people. And I think it's just difficult because so much time has passed. This was 2008. So um, people's lives are busy. People move on and stuff like that. And so really because I had made that promise, ultimately it was my responsibility to finish. So ultimately like I had to like get the film edited, which was a whole different process. Um, but yeah, I, saw, I, I, I for months I, I uh, got the edit together and kind of came back, turned off the internet and started. It was November 2000, um, 2012, 2011, geez, three or four months solid to get that assembly edit together. And I remember our assembly edit was 23 hours, right? So 400 hours down to 23 hours on a, a single timeline, right? 23 hour rough or assembly edit. Yeah, you're trying to make a 90 minute film. Oh my gosh. So yeah, try to take 23 hours. You already did it from 400 to 23. Now you got to take 23 down to like two or 90 minutes. It's crazy. So yeah, took the assembly edit down to a rough cut in like May 2012. And then um, took the rough cut down to the fine cut down in you know, August. And then finally had the final cut. Finally finished 85 minutes.